This video is brought to you by Monster Insights. In this video, you'll learn how to rename images and media files in WordPress. One of the best ways to help search engines and your users find images is by giving them meaningful file names. So you'll want to make sure that you change them from the default file name that your camera gives to something a little bit more meaningful so users can find them and that search engines know what your site is about. A lot of times, unfortunately, we will upload these images to WordPress without changing them. And then there's this problem of having to change them after they've been uploaded. There are two methods that we're going to use. Both of them involve plugins and they are slightly different from each other in how they rename the images. So the first one we'll do is make sure you log into your WordPress dashboard. Let's go to plugins, add new. And the first method we're going to use Phoenix Media Rename Plugin. So we'll search for it. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and install it. You also want to make sure that you stick around so you can activate the plugin as well. Now that we see it installed and activated, we can head over to our media area. We'll go to library. And if you are in grid mode up here, make sure that you change it over to list view so you can see the title name or the image file name. You see all the images that you can make changes to. So for instance, we're going to edit this one and you can add a title here. You want to make sure you add the alt text as well. Alt text is important for SEO purposes, but also for accessibility and scrolling all the way down. Here is the file name that you can change. You'll want to write out something descriptive that would be useful for users and search engines to understand what this image is about. And for naming it, it is best to keep it all lowercase and then adding a hyphen in between multiple words. So it's better for readability. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to go up here and click update. Now that it's updated, we see that the file name has been changed to that. And if we go back to our library area, we'll also see what used to say no title is now it now has a title as the image title. That is simply one way to change the image file name once it's already been uploaded. The next way you can do it is by another plugin. It's called Enable Media Replace Plugin. And this is great if you already have a lot of these images in a post, you, but you need to make the changes. You can make the changes to your computer and then you can say just replace that. So let's go through that process as well. For this one, we want to go to our plugins and we want to hit add new. We need to install the plugin. And we're looking for enable media replace. So I'm gonna type that in. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and install this and go ahead and also activate it. Now that it's activated, we wanna go back to our media library again. Once you're at the media library, then you can choose which one you want to work on. For instance, this is balloons and it's called balloons scaled, which is okay, but it's not as descriptive. So we want to click replace media. And what we'll do is you see there's no undo about it. You go out and choose the file size. And you see locally, I have renamed it to a little bit more descriptive name, hot air balloons skyline instead. And I want to upload that one. You can also choose to rescale this at this point to where it's something a better size for your computer. And you see up here, it's telling you what the sizes are. So you'll definitely want to scale those down. And then as you scroll down, you have two choices. You can either just replace the file and that's just if you're rescaling it or resizing it, that would be perfect for this. Or what we're doing is we want to replace the file. We want to use the new file name and we want to update all links. And what it means by update all links is if this is already in a post, it will update all the links that are tied to that image. So I'm going to click replace the file, use new file name and update all links. You see over on the right, you can also choose to change the date options. We're going to just go ahead and keep the same date. And when we're done, go ahead and click upload. And then that will go through and change that out. And now we when we go back to our library, you scroll down and we see that this has in fact been changed to a more descriptive file name that'll be better for search engines as well as for users. And then once you've made those changes, what you can do is use something like Monster Insights to really test and see the process of how your site is doing with your traffic. Monster Insights is the best WordPress analytics plugin in the market, and it can show you your top sessions, your top pages, 
your best converting pages with Monster Insights, you'll see exactly how people find and use your website. And then you can focus on the content that matters. To get started, head over to monsterinsights.com and use promo code WPBVIP to get 50% off of Monster Insights.